Well, hey guys, I don't know if this is gonna be a vlog that I end up posting or not, but I am back in Utah once again, and we're staying at this Airbnb, kind of close to the old condo I used to live in when I was going to university up here. We are actually about to pack up and leave simply because we were only staying here for one night while Amanda does some uh, recruiting over at BYU. Anyway, checkout time is in about 20 minutes or so, so I gotta hurry up and get packed up. One interesting thing about this Airbnb is they have a motion activated kitchen sink, which I had never seen before. So I went up to this, turned it on and like nothing happened, right? Apparently if you wave your hand underneath, it'll turn it on. But I'd honestly, I don't really understand what the point of that is. It's kind of uh, unnecessary in my opinion. Well, I think I figured out what I want to do today. This uh, canyon behind me is called the Provo Rock Canyon, I believe. And uh, I haven't hiked up here for quite a long time. I have a drone video that I took here back when I first got a drone back in like 2019 or something, 2020. So if you haven't seen that, I'll post the link in the video. But yeah, anyway, we'll be hiking uh, back here into the, the canyon a little ways and uh, see what we can find today. I have never hiked this canyon in the winter time and as you can see it is filled with snow here and I don't have the best snowshoes on so hopefully we don't run into any issues here I don't know if you can see them but there are two looks like two deer on the mountain behind me right there and uh, this is one of those cases where I wish I had brought my zoom lens I have a 600 millimeter zoom lens that I refuse to bring around because of how heavy it is. But in times like these where you've got wildlife and impressive shots, this canyon is very impressive. And I'll zoom in up there on the mountain so you can take a look at all the icicles hanging down. I've spent so much time at sea level that uh, hiking up here is very exhausting. I think the average altitude in Utah is around 3,000 feet or so. The oxygen levels are much less than what I typically get in San Francisco. I really like the scenery around the spot. So. I think I'm gonna go ahead and pull out my drone here. And, uh, it's been so long since I've flown. Not getting a whole lot of satellite connection here, but I'm hoping once I fly up into the sky, because I think the canyon walls are kind of blocking the signal. That's kind of the problem.